Happy New Year to you all guys. Now we see a video that is circulating on social media with this teenage girl who was mobbed and beaten severely. Now, as we all can remember, Kaylan and you know the incident that took place. Now Kaylan mom, while she was on her live, you know, she was sharing her experience and how she feel, you know, and she can relate to this mother, you know. And also the mother joined in to say that listen she's been hurt no guys I wanted to you know just check it out as Kaylan mother you know saying that the system need to do something about it because this cannot constantly be happening to teenage girls and you know nothing out of it and then the you know there's a lot guys so I want you to check it out and leave your comments down below Hey guys, welcome to Nikita Jamaica where you get the best and the latest comedy and drama and entertainment. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Thank you. I no, have nothing to do with them life. Then I have no future, then I have no goals, no aspirations, then I have nothing. 52 year old? Prophetess, are you serious? A 52 year old is involved in... No, them forgot jail and she not to come out. She forgot jail. The one that hit Kaylan was a 45 year old at the time, you know. So, you know, now she's 48. And her daughter was also in it. Who is also has a child. So, so it's literally a grandmother. And now the little baby. Hi, Queen Tassie. The little baby, 14 year old. People are speculate all kind of things. The, 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 the reason for the fight is irrelevant to me. Because when Kaylan hap when it when Kaylan's situation happened, there was a whole barrage of speculations. What them a fight over, what them not fight over, who and who did this and who and who did that. It was irrelevant because I don't care. I don't care what caused the fight. I don't care. Six female beating on a 14 year old child is just a no no for me. And you know what I've noticed in Jamaica? We have no men. We have no men. One time in a Jamaica as fight but pop. The man then broke up that. And if you don't want to stop fight all, you don't get slap. That was Jamaica. Where we live in a now. A society where man a lap frack tail. A society where man a, a woe and a skin out and a go on like girl. That, that's, that's the society. Man a talk like woman, walk like woman. That's the society we live like, you know, in Jamaica. Jellyback man as well, the, the pastor say. Let you know because if I am going on, you are so strong. You give me the strength. Thank you. Fiona, God bless you, my dear. You mean too much men and no man. Yeah, exactly. No man, no dear Jamaica. We don't have no man. The night when Kaylan was hurt, I heard there were the, the party ram. She said she's doing something. She'll come on in a few minutes. I already spoke to the mommy. I am, yeah, man, I've been speaking to her consistently. Creds, I have been speaking to her consistently. She said she would try and come on tonight on the live with me. Um, I've been speaking to her consistently. I've been giving her, you know, putting in my two cents on how to, to deal with this situation. You know, um, it is not an easy thing for a mother to have to deal with something like this. But at the same time, we have to do it. When the situation arises, we have to just stand firm and just, you know, say, we are stand with ground and we have to just fight for a picnic. 
we have to just fight for a picnic. And that is that is it. The child is stable. She's 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 not in a critical state. Kaylan is fine also. Me say when me see the little picnic drop on the ground and me see the girl step in her belly, me say Jesus. Look there. Look there. You grab her in her head and you draw her on the plot where she have the plot, the braid, pop out from the skull. And you want a mother you know if you have leniency upon you? In Clarin and Genesis. You want a mother you have leniency upon you? So every time because Kaylan's situation happened and they saw nothing came out of it. So they, they do this because in their mind they will get a slap on the wrist and they will go home because the justice system is weak and failing. This is it, you know. The justice system is weak and failing. So at which point are the ministers going to step up and say, hey, we're going to have to do something about the situation before someone actually dies? Remember saying, no, pick me, I'm missing every day. Body I'm missing every day. Donna Lee and the whole of them can't find all now. All of these things. So at which point this violence against women is going to trigger these people to say, listen, we're off to do something, yes, sir. At which point? After Kaylan's situation, you know, I would have thought, they would have thought, I, I, in my view, they would have thought about it and said, we have to put stricter penalties in place so that this does not repeat itself but no everybody are freestyle are free for all and people are, everybody are beat the same girl and beat kill and go back go beat a bus fight a party again you know those in december 2020 those same girls because i was contacted by someone who saw them at a party attacking someone else so that means them no business. No repercussion no, no come out of it. Them go to jail. And then fight in a jail. And say, the, 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 what, should, what, 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 what one of them say? What Ivan is the girl say? To her, what, lick Ivan, all Ivan and he get lick out a boat from one of the girls and attack Kaylan. In a jail. So you got jail and you fight in a jail. And judge give you bail. Hmm? So at which point something's going to be done about these people? And then the big. Can them walk around. And, and, and all over the place. KK, if you want to come on, just let me know. Kaylan is on the live. If you want to come on and say something about how you feel about this. Knowing that, you know, we went through this. And there's someone else going through this. Let me see what that person I uh, uh -huh. You never know how strong you are until being strong, isn't it? Yes. Hola, hi KK. You wanna come on? Send me an invite if you wanna come on. We can't go and play too much until you're ready to come off or something. You understand what I'm saying, guys? It's, it's a serious case. It's a serious case. And 
I want to know when violence against women is going to equate to women being violent against women. So everybody, TVJ News said that is the mother along with one of their men. So the family attacked the daughter. For, you see, this is it. Your mom and I went to Merle Grove. Hi, teacher Nelson. I don't care. Wagwan and Naldo a class. Okay. I don't care who was with who. All right. Fine. Fine. Let's scenario. Let's say that was a showcase scenario where the mother is involved with Eve, one of them, man. Because a big people, them, you know. Oh, you see me, child. Oh, you see my baby, my 14-year-old child. I walk about her business uh, attack her. Kaylan, come on live. Now make everybody get for see because I peer comments are come up as with you now. Right? How? You see my pitney. I go about her business and choose to attack my pitney. Tell me how that makes sense. Oh, you see me pick me and go about our business. And you choose now to attack my pick me and fight my pick me and beat my pick me to that state because me the mama will legal to take the man. You see my 14 that year old daughter were underage when no legal to take no man. Hmm. We have to do something. This can continue. Or it will come to the point where we are at jungle justice. It will start happening in our country. And people are going to just start dead, dead, dead. And what kind of life that? When we shouldn't have preach peace. When we should be preaching love. When we should be preaching tolerance. No, Nadine, it was not the same set of girls. Because you know what? Because the people who are hierarchy up in society, aristocratically um, on their own side of the fence, they don't care about the middleman, the lower class man, and the people live in a below poverty line. It does not matter to them. So everything about everybody else that are not in their status is irrelevant to them. It's irrelevant to them. Because one, when they commit crimes, when they do things, they do not want to have to abide by the law of the land. So if they put stricter penalties in place, it will apply to them too. And this is all about it, you know, because they themselves are criminals. They do not want to abide by these laws, so they do not create these laws. And the next thing is that even if these laws are created, they buy their way out of these things. They don't go to court. They don't get locked up. They're not remanded. Because money speaks in this country. See the girl them? They man them with them there with. They man them with them there with. I spend money on family member who are bad people and bad people and bad people. And then um, and, and these are the ways that they live. These are the ways that they live. And then now stop because guess what? The police in them pocket. So
So when girl figure a coat, girl give them excuse say, oh, um, me not no shoes and me not no socks and me not no shirt and and me not feel good and me free. How can I something? How can I something? Every excuse, every frivolous excuse where they can find, them them come up with it, and there's no, no, no repercussion for these things. There's no, no farmer restraint. They're not free for doing them at all. Yes, man, the judge take it. KK Fatty, the judge take it. They not eat me. I tell you all the while. The silly, silly, silly excusing that they come up with. And the judge does take it. No justice system in a Jamaica. No justice system in a Jamaica. No justice system in a Jamaica. None whatsoever. See, see, see the girl, the young lady where they go missing and the man chop her up and dash her away and burn her and all kind of something. Every evidence point to this man. Every evidence point to this man. Every evidence point to this man. Every single evidence point to the man. So may I show you? And the man I will say, oh, he never have no shirt, him shirt did. You never have no clothes for God coat. <laughs> you kill me picnic and you want clothes. You come naked. Come naked. Well, you need special. You need clothes for God coat. Warm to the jumpsuit. Where the jumpsuit where they give you or the prison clothes where they give you. That can't come a court. Anything you have on, it can come a court. These are the excuses. These are the excuses. I think the whole Caribbean. Now I have no justice system. They failed us big time. They failed us. They, 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 trust me. That's why people end up taking things in their own hands. Yeah, exactly. You hope your man never release him clothes. You have to really think about it for true. Now me need for do fasting and prayer, my love. The whole away. And not just me. Hi, T Sims. You're right. Just send me an invite, my love. How do I how do I add her? I don't know if I don't know if I send the invite, you know. Send me an invite. The same invite that we kill and always send me. When she wants to come on. Okay, let me add guests. Let me see. I didn't want you bigger than this. I don't know if this is the way. Hello? You're hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, my darling. Um, I know this is not an easy task for you because it was not easy for me. And going over these things can be a bit stressful, um, especially, you know, the fact that you're still in the situation, in the middle of the situation. She needs to go live. I don't I'm not know I don't know if she's able to go live. Um I can't stay along because she's not feeling well, so I just left my sister with her. Okay. So just um, go. How is she doing? As I said before, um her memory like if there is a lady that she knows from she was a small little girl and the, little, the lady went to the hospital and 
she was asking who the lady was i had to okay. tell her who the lady was so her memory is not quite back fully so she is complaining not about remembering. headache oh god ay 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 You see what I'm talking about, people? These people do these things not knowing the long-term effect that it has. These people do these things not knowing the long-term damage. But one thing I do know, God never fails. God never fails did she do any tests like cts what did the test results um yeah, she did um she did ct scan and she's supposed to do another one she did an x-ray um she did a lot of tests most of the results are not back as it and then again i can't really speak on that part either okay no oh man that's fine that's fine anything you can't speak on don't speak on it because we know it's case sensitive and not everything can be in the media how are you coping this is so hard let me tell you um right now i'm so drained i haven't eaten i haven't slept i have to be up with her she sleeps but i can't sleep i have to be watching over her mm -hmm. it's just a mother's instinct so, that's mm -hmm. and then again with everything replaying in my head i just i can't sleep because with the, the the memory of the video that i saw i didn't watch all of the video i only saw the part when she was on the floor and the lady steps on her so that means you so have keeps on replaying in my head. I have gotten like an hour, what a day, like an hour, two hours, and then that's it. So you have not seen the entire video? No, I haven't watched the entire video. Don't watch it. I would. I. I know. I know. People might say, "Leave her alone. Let her watch it." But you see, I saw it. I saw it. Several persons sent it to me. I would say, don't watch it. If if you can ignore that video, it would be best. Why I say this? It is something that's going to continue playing on you and playing in your mind. You understand? It's something that is going to affect you more. So if you can, because at some point I had to do the same thing, just ignore a lot of things on social media. So I would not, if you can avoid watching these things, just avoid watching them. Just focus on your child. Focus on your child. Focus on God. Because he's, nothing anybody else does in this time. Will Let me tell you this. If it wasn't for God, nobody can tell me nothing more God. Right. When I look at my daughter on the floor and the, the clip, the small clip that I looked at, and like my daughter is blessed. Yes, she is. My daughter is covered. Yes, she is. Nobody can tell me nothing about God. If it wasn't for God, my daughter wouldn't have been here today. God is good. When I spoke to you and I asked you how she was doing and you told me the state that she was in, I said to God be the glory because this could have gone really bad. This could have gone really bad. I am just from a mother to a mother and 
being the fact that I have been in this situation, I can, I can honestly say I know how you feel. And I know what you're going through. I know the emotions that are running inside of you. And I, all I can say is trust God. He knows what you need. He knows how you're going to get it. And he knows the outcome of everything that you're going through. And remember, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. You and your child will be fine. Don't watch the naysayers. Don't listen to the rumors. Don't listen to the re people are saying a lot of, there's a lot of speculations going around, but just tune yourself out of it. Tune yourself. Don't be distracted by the noise. We are praying. I am praying. I am praying. She will regain her memory. She will be fine. She will be okay. Because we, the same God that did it for my child, the same God that I put my trust in to bring Kaelan through this, he never failed me. He has never, ever failed. And he's the same God. So I know if we look to him by faith, you and your child, she will be fine. See Kayla and I do exams, see Kayla and I go to school, see Kayla and up and running. She might not be where we want her to be, but it's God's timing. And where she was to where she is now, it's just a sheer miracle. Because remember, they gave up on my child. Doctor, everybody gave up on right off Kayla and said, if I plug out machine and this and that and that. And I did not listen. I listened to the, the voice, the still voice that led me through my dark time. So I know God will do it for you. Stay strong. I am here for you. I am praying for you. I am behind you 100%. Anything you need to know, I am here. So Whatever information I have, I will pass it on. To get anything that you need to get done, the way I did it, I can only tell you from my experience. You're Thank a strong you. mother because you're still standing beside her. That is epitome of strength. You are still there. You are still fighting. And that's all anybody can ask us to do is to do our best and to put in a hundred percent for them. I am so happy it was not as bad. I am so happy that she was covered. I am so happy because my road will not be your road and your road will not be mine. But we all have our cross to bear. We all um, deal with trauma in different ways and we all deal with situations differently we all have our own breaking point but god has got you he has you he has her kaylan came from one percent and kaylan is 99.99 100 percent so your child will be okay your child will be fine in the name of jesus i declare and decree that we now accept nothing else but the best from god because that's what he gives so no worry about nothing if you get your GoFundMe me up pass the information if you have your paypal your cash app because you're going to need these things get these things sorted you are going to need them no make nobody say them i call it no money for you because i will up thousands of dollars then rob kaylan cash up on them something easy for me get these things up so you can if you if you if you don't know me i will talk behind the scenes i will help you through these things we get the information where you need so you can get these things and we post them. I will post them. I will pass them on. I will put them everywhere, everywhere on all of my platforms. And I will 
I support you 100% because you're a mother, you're a fighting mother, I am a fighting mother. So we will fight this together and we will pray. Thank you so much. I know you're going to go back to her now. Just, just let her know that she is loved and we are all out here rooting for her, praying her strength, and we know that our God will deliver. Thank you. Thank you so much again. You are welcome, my dear. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Mighty God. The pain I is know. too much. I know. I know. Hot sleep, my dear. But you will be fine. I can tell you that. It doesn't you you might not see the end. Because I did not see it. I did not see the end. I did not see the road. I did not see the how. I did not see the why. Because when you're in the middle of the storm, you cannot see anything but a storm. When you are in the storm, all you see is the storm. But remember, after every storm, there has to be a calm. God knows the outcome of everything. He knows you. He knows your heart. He knows you. Remember that. When nobody else knows you, God knows you. When nobody else sees you, he sees you. When nobody else hears you, he hears you. Take your time. Spend it with God. Because this is how he's going to lead you strategically out of this storm. He will nav navigate your, enter, your, your, your exit from this storm. Now listen to people. Find your quiet place and talk to God because He's trying to get your attention. He is trying to get your attention. So take your time and say, Lord, I am here. I am listening. You want me? To listen, I am listening. Because this is the only way you are going to find strength. Nobody can strengthen you. Your own strength will not do this. And anybody tell you, say, oh, you're strong, you're with me. You, by yourself, me, by myself, could never have done it. It's the strength of our Father that's going to carry us his strength that is what we are we have to use to get through this because physically man cannot withstand so much it is hard i know it is hurtful but god but god Oh God. Her Kaylan is asking your daughter's name, but I will let her give it to me off the air because her daughter's name is not disclosed to the public. Because she's a minor, Kaylan. God is in control, Sims. I want to God. tell you thank you, but I have to leave now. She's Go upset. ahead, my dear. It was nice having you here. Um, and thank you for the update on her situation. We will keep in thank touch. You. And I am praying. We are all praying. Right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Why I tell you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mighty God, I tell you. Let me tell you something. When Kaylan got 
injured. Let my mother tell my mother can tell you now. Me not sleep, me not eat, me not see food, me not have appetite, me not want nothing, not even water. Me not know how oh, me not dead. Me physically don't know how. Sleepless nights, me not sleep no night. Me not sleep no day. My, ma my mother had to take my phones and lock them off. The pain, oh my God. The pain, the pain, no pain, the pain, no physical pain. Couldn't feel so. No, 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 no hurt, no physical hurt. Couldn't feel so. If, may I tell you, the pain that you feel, you'd rather be feeling physical pain than to feel that way. When you have your child, you love your child more than yourself as a mother. You put your own life, your own happiness, your own existence up aside for your children because they are the apple of your eye just like you are the apple of God's eye. I may tell you the pain when I feel when I see my child lie down, string up, and people out the road a laugh and a brag and a boast and my child string up. So me know what she a go through. Me know what she a feel. Me know the earth we in her heart. Me know the anger we in her heart. I tell you, you know. I tell you, you no. Know. I tell you, you know. You see, if I never forgot, 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 not no left for nobody down there, nobody no, not no left for them. If I never feel God, not no left for them the way I feel. When I look at my picnic, even now, three years after, I mean, no, my picnic, my picnic are preps. Pretty, pretty girl, me care come here. Flawless. Not even mark never the pan her skin. Me a tell you no. I want to see the woman pick me. If you want the woman in a something, you know, just want to see the woman, you know, want to deal with the woman. You want to see the woman pick me, you want to attack the woman, beat the woman pick me, you know, the woman pick me, not even remember nothing. Eh? Oi. Jackass say world no level, and I true. Jaka said you were on a level and a true. Twinny, my daughter is fine. She's on the live as well. She's fine. Oh no, no, no much things Kaylan got. Kaylan liver damage. All of Kaylan organs in a in a Kaylan body they are shut down. Every organ in a Kaylan body. Kidney damage, liver. Heart, lungs. They must say lungs. Them now work for for for, for year and add, you know. No time, nothing they now do for themselves, you know. One month of blood infection. Kill and depend medication till. Ah, uh, where I call it? Like 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 I just one little. Cooked. I saw she I saw she drugs up. 
half of the time she she can't even open her eye them the world the amount of medication she depend so it come like she always sedated I wanna come now, do the woman pick me same thing? So I saw none of girl and the people pick me, and not enough to come out tight. I saw no girl and just beat everybody pick me. Cause one of them mama, me not beat my pick me, and you come beat her for me. And when time police all and pan them for lock them up, we no give them bail and send them a road for go fight somebody else pick me. I saw it just like a continue. So there are some things that Kaylan went through. When I think back on them, even now, tears come on my eye. Things that she herself don't even know. Because she can't remember these things. She don't know because she wasn't conscious. Half the time, Kaylin was not conscious. KK is 20. In June, she's 21. Seven times she have sepsis, sepsis Ari. Seven times. Seven times. Near Salin at Maple Hospital today, they might talk about Kaylan. When the, when, 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 when the little girl, even when the little girl went in, they were just talking about Kaylan. Sepsis is, 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 is bacteria in the blood, but it overruns the blood. It's, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but. There's Kaylan commenting. She was 17 when it happened. Sepsis is something that will shut down all your organs. Everything in the body will cease to function when sepsis overruns the body. Most people do not survive sepsis on their first case. Kaylan had sepsis seven times. Every minute Kaylan have... And, and then me, and, and, and half of the, she got so used to the, the, the medication that they had to start giving her medications that some of them we can't even find them. I had to be going from one hospital to the next hospital to the next hospital to the next hospital because you can't get them in pharmacies. You have to go directly to a hospital to get them. I tell you, the justice system has failed with brother. It's failed with people. Jamaica justice system is failing. It has failing everywhere. And the bigger heads, they not even not take the time to just look. They don't care because all they're so focused on is to scrape what they can from parliament, to scrape what they can from taxes, to scrape what they can from the economy, to scrape. And then they sell out the whole country and realize, say, the whole of Jamaica got turned one little slave ground. Not, I don't see one politician in a parliament right now who actually care about the people of Jamaica. Not one. Everybody's just about the hype lifestyle and the, and the big life. That is all they're interested in, the big life. Jamaica has the ability to be one of the most thriving economy. But we will never get there because nobody cares. The healthcare system is dirt. May I tell you no? And you know, I have nothing to do with the doctors them. Because they are doing their best. It has nothing to do with the doctors. It has nothing to do with the nurses. Because they, I have seen it myself. I see them with me two years every day. When we're up there, the doctors them go above and beyond to try and help. But they do not have the resources. The nurse them stress out. The nurse them stress out. 
Because nothing not there for them use. When you can't find gas, you can't find this, you can't find that, you can't find always lack of something. And they, and yet still, when I will take up $12 million bill sign, when that $12 million could have go buy some gas. Exactly. What is here for them to stay? What, what they have for all them? What they have for all them? The, all them don't come for teeth. Teeth and script, teeth and script, teeth and script. No, there is not one politician that actually cares about the country or the people. Not one. And yet still you have people get up every day and talk about me a labor right, me a PNP. Get up and talk about me a diet and from me a picnic, me a, me a this, and from my mother did a this and my father did a this, but I don't know, I don't know, can't even buy a plate, good plate of food. That's why I am, I am, I, and, and sunshine, I, I, that is why I am working so hard to put myself in a position where I can do something too. When we can give back, cause me personally, I see you be, me want set up in a ICUB, me want ICUB to have more some, some portable ventilators for them. Me want two good wheelchair for the, for the ward. For, 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 for ICUB, there are certain things that Kaelan was lacking there that I myself want to donate back there. I want to m show my appreciation. To show my appreciation. Kaelan is doing fine. She's on the live. Just look out. She's commenting. Um, Guys, we, we, the country, me not tell a lie. The, the Jamaica, not Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year, Murphy, darling. Mm. It's sad. Mm. It's sad. You mm. Teacher Nelson, you mm. I see you be. That's where Kaylan was. Mm. And for the most part, the nurses were amazing. The doctors were so nice. May I tell you? You know you have one and two people. Cause yeah, everybody now get along. Cause it's just a life go. You understand? But it, for the most part, they treated her. You have some nurses that will never leave us up to today. They will always and forever be a part of our lives because they invest so much of themselves. They are now they have now become like family. They have become like family. So me know for a fuck. Say, I know the nurse, them are the problem. I know the doctor, them are the problem. They do not have what they need. The justice system, foolishness, too much corruption. The police, they not get no money, they not get no pay. So what happened? They live in a bad man pocket. Too much corruption. Me can't tell you no this. Me get threat and me got a station. I went to the police station and I made a complaint. Somebody called my phone for an anonymous number. And made some references and called some names and told me what was said. I'm going to report it. I left, I'm going to go on a different station. And when I left that the police station there, somebody else, when I have nothing to do with the police station, we're not even police, could have called me and say, or me and make report. The same police them, in at the station. Can tell what the people them say me come make report. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, let's go on different police station. And the same police, I'm at a different police station. Do the same thing. So, you can't even go to the police in with all honest and truth. Go say, look, this is what is happening. This is my situation. Because by the time you walk out of the police station, the police then call back the same bad man them and tell the same bad man them so you can come make report on them. I truth, may I tell you where I'm to me? I truth, the same police them. When my guy station, I realize say, yes, the police station yeah sell me out. I say, all right then, when me go one different police station. And what happened? When me reach out at the police station, I make me report them. And and even and you know the funny thing, the first time there was an alleged threat against my life. And the police tell me. The same the, the first police station at them tell me you no know, said threats were made. They during their investigations, they discovered some threats made against me. And I should be careful. But yet still when me go get for me threat now and me make the police station report, uno, uno go back go talk and so me make report. Then what kind of foolishness is this? You can't trust no police down there. Jamaica. Can't trust them. Yes, trim it. It's in the courts. And honestly, me reach a point. Why are these people popping up asking for live? I, 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 you know, no, no. Mm-hmm. exactly and let me tell you something we can't tell anybody do not put your life and safety in the hands of any jamaican police don't do it do not do not because they will ask you where you are and they're the same ones coming to kill you we can tell you if me never smart My son died in Cornwall Regional because he needed a ventilator. He was five. Ah, oh, Jesus. Look at now. That's what I talk about. Unstoppable rebel, I don't judge them neither. This woman says that Raquel, Raquel Simone said that her son died in Cornwall Regional Hospital because he needed a ventilator. You know, see my point exactly i am so sorry my dear for your loss there are no words to comfort a mother who has lost their child there's none because i remember when the doctor said kaylan will not live to see the daylight and that feeling that gripped me that feeling when i saw her lifeless body that feeling Wait, 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 I like my, my chest, like something ripped me. Hi, Akada. <laughs> no. ah. Ventilator, yeah, hospital without ventilator. That this is, and you know what? And this is why I prayed so hard for Kaylan to come off the machine because. I knew there were other people that needed it. And me, me did start feel some type of way for no, so she depend it, you know, so long. But she never did come off till a fair time because me never did go, honestly, me ever put my child first. And the truth be told, nobody's child should die because of a lack of ventilation. And this is, this is why we need portable vents because a portable ventilator will go anywhere with you and they are very handy they are very handy they will save a life the country need a lot of them i remember when kaylan was supposed to go outside and she couldn't go outside because there were no portable vents 
And when we tried to get one to borrow from one of from from the 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 respiratory ward, they said they only had one. One. No, the portable ventilator is something as small as this box or a little bit smaller. Some of them are even smaller than this box. That's how small they are. Very small. The lady cost me no people say someone else needs the machine and me fi and me sit down pan it. But I true. <laughs> <laughs> I truth. I truth. I made it tell her so for true. I did tell her that for real. Say so somebody else need it. My newborn girl died three days old because me never have no money for buy drips. And the drips was $300. What do you mean 200 dollar? 200 Jamaican dollar or 200 US dollar? No man. Some are, you know me you know me gonna start me gonna set up my life for, 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 for people who want to give them them hospital testimonies. Cause you know, for people who have been through sickness, people who have been through these type of traumas. Cause what are you saying? That your your baby died for 300 Jamaican dollar or 300 US dollars? But in any case, whether 300 US or 300 Jamaican, now that US does not operate like that. That is first thing. They will save you and bill you. That is what we know about the US. They will save you and then bill you. It was 300 Jamaican dollars. And no, and nobody couldn't get 300 dollars. Or nobody couldn't. As a, as a matter of fact, that even irrelevant. Thank you, June Plum. Thank you, Braid Sand. Braid Sand. Thank you for the gifts. You want to tell me, say, your baby died because of $300? KK is on the live. $300, thank you, June Plum, sweetheart. I know because I've been to a hospital in the U.S. since I got here. Kayla and say I must joke that. KK. Me, me, me can't, me can't, but this is it. There are certain things that you have to pay for. Me understand that. But if it is a life and death situation, save the child and deal with the payment later. Me no care which has survival. Me, it no matter which hospital it should not have happened. Hook up with Kayla now. Need to see you both together. Ngazi. When I understand them, I suck me up. They wrote my son off and I watched him die. Raquel Simone, come on, man. We, them a story, them a story, uh, uh, uh. Them a story I heard full man for years say. Me not understand. Me need clarity on that story there. Me need, me need clarity on that story there. That $300 story there. Me not understand. Oh, hi, Kerry Ann. Me see her. Me know her. Me see her. Oh, no. Me know her. Oh. He, um, three hundred dollars something, no right. Me no know what he say. Me need clarity on the story, mama. Three hundred US dollars, she said. Cause three hundred dollars seems a bit small. Billionaire says she would appreciate if she would join the line because that seems 
I believe her cause they plugged my newborn daughter off when she reached two weeks on the machine. Here you know again. It come like it come like Jamaican hospital had a spear or a story. Jamaican hospital scenes are just pure horror story. I just pure horror story. Hmm? Guys, you know, teach me if you add people to the live, you know, because me, me really would have liked to hear them story. Yeah. Reds, you have to go over Instagram. TikTok, now nah, allow it. Why me I tell you? Even if she was in a situation where she could not find 300 Dominican dollars, people, whatever medication that she, if it could have, could have made 200,000 dollar or 3,000 dollar multi guests. Girl, I don't see that by myself. So I talk about multi guests. I say guests, or I guess me say. Oh, I see what happened now. Okay, and you know, me see if you do it, you can go and click on, see the whole of the viewers, them, everybody with the panel live and look for the person. I think I saw. Me have a bill here for millions. Me love the whole of we have millions of dollars what I bills in a hospital bill. But what me I say is, nobody picking enough for dead for no money. Nobody picking enough for dead for no money. See, Kayla and they, them say, Kayla needed heart surgery because she had a clot, blood clot, to the right atrium. And let me tell you, it was for rehab alone, it was going to cost us the 425,000 US dollars. And if the surgery was included for the for the, the heart surgery to remove it, it would have been seven hundred and something thousand US dollars. No be honest, no. Which part? Which which part? Which party did I go come from? Yes, Lizzie Phillips. This is Kaylan's mom. Good to have you on my life. Yes, in the U.S. All right, let me tell you. Let a lot of people don't understand this. When you are inside of the U.S., they will treat you. When you're entering from another country, me now nah look. Hello, Nicole Dawkins. Me now nah read nothing with Kayla and I right right now. Cause she now nah did. Me now nah look. You see, when you're inside of the U.S. Whatever happens inside of the U.S., they will deal with the situation. And then you and the billion people them have it out. But when you're outside of the U.S., like a person who is not a U.S. citizen, not a U.S. national, or not even a green card holder, or never been to the U.S., they you have to find this money. So any which way you want to find it, if your insurance are going to pay for it, fine. But the money has to be up front. Yeah, man.